Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 29, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit up towards it. Uh, 92 and uh, yes it kind of looks like we are going to have another go at these previous highs here 92.4 and then probably towards 93 this should not uh, this should be a uh, basically a massive warning for most of uh, the assets that have been significantly overbought and especially those uh, uh, precious metals and for the oil market and so on if this starts rallying significantly then we may see some of those some assets um get in the massive decline as there's a negative correlation between the us dollar and uh, most of those uh, those assets so if you look at the other technical indicators we can see the macd is still bullish the sarcastic is still bullish and the cci is still bullish and the rsi is flat at this point and still a lot of room to the upside but 200 moving average is holding and as long as that is the case we'll have the 20 moving average moving this way crossing and the 50 probably in the long run probably sometimes at the end of june you will have the crossing of the 50 moving average and that is a big deal because we haven't had that cross in since the last june and there after that we saw this massive fall in this market and um, that is a fairly big deal for for the markets in general so let's look at oil so oil has started to pull back the question is how far we'll pull back the middle of the bullish band or 20 exponential around 70 dollars uh, 70.85 could be an area of interest 70 should be definitely an area of interest but down here at the 50 moving average at 67 should be probably the bottom of this market if this breaks then we are looking at 60 and then towards the 200 but it kind of also um, it will also depend on where the us dollar will go if the us dollar continues to appreciate and then this will become more expensive and uh, for, for buyers and less demand and therefore prices will fall we have a crossing here of the 20 of the macd and uh, we haven't had that crossing for a really long time back down here so we may see this tumble in the next few uh, trading days because other technical indicators are showing my bearish momentum at this current stage so let's look at natural gas so natural gas uh, did rally yet again it is getting into stupid territory um, we are way outside of the bullish band at this point uh, significantly overbought and um, we did have a pullback at the end of the u.s session but not a significant it is a fairly big pullback but not as much as I thought it would be. So the question is when tomorrow, when or not we get a red candlestick here. If we do, then we may see something similar to what we saw back here in May, where we had significantly outside and then break down. The same goes through here. It was, well, only a few weeks ago where we got way outside and then broke towards the middle of the bullish band. We could see the similar happening here, but tomorrow will tell whether or not that is the case otherwise we are racing up towards the four and um, we haven't been into that level since basically in 2019 so yes this is uh we are approaching um, we are basically in summer months and usually that is uh, not a period of year where we see these massive moves usually it's in october november december that we see these moves otherwise technical indicators are very bullish indeed but we are significantly overbought significantly overstretched and therefore pullbacks should be expected at any point so let's look at copper so copper is uh, really struggling it is uh, it rallied up towards the 20 exponential and got rejected there and now it looks like we're heading back towards the previous lows here at 4.08 if that breaks then four comes into play and then the 200 moving average down here at 3.79 Technical indicators are all favoring the downside at this current stage. It is, um, yes, it is in a downtrend. And um, it was kind of about time because this was what was prior to this breakdown. So if we take out these previous lows, then we could test the 200 moving average. And that's probably where 
most of the buyers will come back in around four and around the 200 moving average. So let's look at gold. So gold is still struggling, uh, probably due to the fact that the US dollar is still uh, not depreciating, it is appreciating. And if it continues to appreciate, then we are most likely going to see this market drop towards 1700 to the very bottom, double bottom here. And if that breaks, then to 1500 and then below. And then, yeah, not below that, but around 1500. So we are um, having a crossing of the 20 exponential, 50 moving average, and so on. That is not a very good sign for this market. I was expecting the market to rally up towards the 20 before breaking down, but it looks like we're just going to go sideways. 20 is going to move this way, and then we're going to tumble towards the 70 around that area. If we were to break above the 200 moving average, then we'd go to 1900 and then beyond. But um, I would pay attention to the US dollar. If the US dollar starts to appreciate, and it's not a good sign for this market. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is um, bearish, stochastic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at silver. So silver did break down towards the 200 moving average and then rallied, and uh, that's a very good sign. So we have tested the 200 moving average several times. We have just been hanging around here, and usually when that is the case, it is just building up momentum in order to go to the upside. And that's a good sign for silver. We have uh, 20 expansion moving this way. And if we manage to break above the 50, then we could go back to, uh, to 28. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish. The stochastic is, uh, is still bullish. CGI is flat or bearish, I should say. And the RSI is flat. So let's look at platinum. So platinum rallied up towards the 20 exponential and then really got rejected today where it looks like we're heading back towards a 200 moving average. If that breaks, then we are most likely going back towards these previous lows at 10.32. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, and CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. 20 exponential is still massive resistant in this market. And if this continue, then we are, continues, then we'll mostly have the 20 exponential crossing the 200, and then we'll drop significantly further. So let's look at Pallium. So this had a really good today, today, but the question is whether or not we'll manage to go further than this. So we did break down only a few, yeah, uh, two weeks ago. And since then, we have been rallying up towards the 20 exponential, but are struggling here in the middle of the bullish band. So if you manage to break above here, then the 50 comes into play. And after that, we are going back towards the, the very highs here. But it is to be seen if we get rejected here, we get a red candlestick tomorrow, then we'll most likely drop it back towards the 200 moving average. The MACD is, uh, is crossing the signal line. The stochastic is bullish, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at aluminum. So aluminum is doing really well. We are targeting the previous highs here again, and we are getting very overstretched. We are not overbought, but uh, a pullback at this point could be expected as we are way outside of the bullish band. Um, technical indicators, otherwise MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CGI is bullish, and the pullback will mostly find massive support um, down here at 24, 83, or the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has, is starting to fall back. We had this uh, fairly negative candlestick in the end of the session yesterday. And at this moment, it, it looks like we are we are still trading in this square of the highs here and the lows right around there. So around the 200 moving average roughly there. So we may well be that we'll head back towards these lows around this area here before going higher. We are technically been just trading sideways for the last month and a half. Taking an indicator otherwise, MACD is bullish, stochastic is flat, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. Sugar has really taken off today. I think it's up at roughly 3% above the 50, above the middle of bullish band, and now it is targeting the highs here of 0 0.1807. 
Taking it negative, MACD is, is crossing the signal line, becoming bullish. The stochastic is bullish, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at Kako. So Kako is still struggling at the 20 exponential, and it's probably just a matter of time before this turns around and breaks to the downside. If we were able to break to the upside, 50 moving average is just above here, and the middle of the bullish run, and the 200 moving average. Uh, but we are struggling at the 20 exponential. And if we turn around here, take out these previous lows, then we are most likely going to drop to the lows here in, this was basically November last year, at 22.37, and then towards uh, the very lows here. This is basically uh, June, uh, July last year, which was 20.80.87. So it, we are still in a gradual um, downtrend here from the highs of of uh, November last year. So nothing has really changed. It is a horrible market to trade. But if these um, if this level here breaks, then it is fairly certain that we'll go to much lower levels. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is still trending in between the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. And it's not until we basically break above uh, either of these that we basically get a sign where this market is going. It broke down yesterday towards the, or, or um, on Friday towards the 200 moving average, rallied today, and then gave most of those gains back. And um, yes, it is just bouncing in between the 20 and the 200 moving average. Otherwise, technical indicators, MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. Give on the support channel by subscribing, hit the like button above, and see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.